Have you ever thought about being in the middle of Matt Rogers' Tomas Matos sandwich? I mean, the question is, is this a six dollar foot long sandwich? <laughs> is it a foot long? Is it? Let's get them in here and find out. <laughs> Between the two of them, probably. Work. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jasmine Rice Labeja. I'm Pissy Miles. I'm Keisha Carr. And I am Izzy Uncut. And this is Drag House. Today we are talking with actors and real life friends, Tomas Matos and Matt Rogers. Hello. Hello. We're, We're so, so happy, happy to, to be, be here. here, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Congrats on Fire Island! Yes. 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 So good. How has this reception been for you? Really crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, been, it's been so emotional to have it out. And like, honestly, the number one thing is that we feel like when you watch the movie, you can really get a sense of how in love with each other everyone was. I mean, like, this is very much a real thing. Yeah, it's just yeah. been so wild. It feels like, you know, like, Getting, getting the baby out of the nest. Someone before we before was talking about your your characters, and they said you were like the flotsam and jetsam. Very yeah, yeah. That's very that. And it yeah. was, I it was like, that, that is the perfect, perfect descriptor yeah. for, for your character. We're like Margaret Cho as Ursula, like our dead mother. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, like That's floating around the house, like <laughs> <laughs> But like, flotsam and jetsam, but horse. Yeah. What was it like filming a movie with just like so many queer people? It's just like, like family. Yeah. And then when you watch the movie too, I feel like most of the humor doesn't feel like it's like holding anyone's hand that watches it. You know what I mean? It yeah. just feels like like I'm watching it and I'm seeing friendships that I really have and the ways that girls really talk. As soon as I get on the ferry, every time going out there, I feel my shoulders drop. Yeah. I feel like I, I, it's such a special place to me. What, what about Fire Island is special to you all? It's a really great opportunity to, again, not to like say chosen family, chosen family, chosen family, chosen family chosen but family. the thing is like, I think we say it so much that we forget the meaning. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's so important and we truly live and die by it yeah. that, you know, it's now out there in the culture and we say these words, but you forget how good it feels to just be around people that make you feel like your best you, that truly crack you up. Let's discuss you, Matt, and I love that for you. Oh, thanks. Tell us a little bit about that. So, I love that for you is a comedy series on Showtime. I'm on with Vanessa Bayer, Molly Shannon, and the iconic Jennifer Lewis. And it's basically like the Devil Wears Prada, but set at like a home shopping network. And I'm like the Emily Blunt, so I get to sort of be a bitch all around the office and wear like cute shit. And it's a really funny, sweet, and dark comedy. You know, being a gay actor and playing these types of roles, you never know if you're gonna just be given a stereotype. Were you gay? Yeah, so <laughs> that's part of the reason I wanted to come here. I wanted to say my truth. Oh. I'm a homosexual <laughs> man, <laughs> and uh, I'm proud. Vanessa, Molly, and Jennifer, it's like all these generations of incredible people and they happen to be nicer than they are funny, which is fucked up. It's like you're t you're talented enough to be a shitty person. Yeah. Like, we're not and we still are shitty people. Exactly! <laughs> right. Speaking of, Tomas. Um, <laughs> you're a uh, Broadway baby. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, and you were recently in Hades Town. Yeah. You've also done Diana. My, ba my debut, honey. Baby, what, why do you, what draws you to Broadway? What draws you to Broadway and what brought you to film? Well, I think Broadway is like, I like to think of it as my foundation and I think it's, it's given me a lot of technique and, and being able to step into film and TV. Um, and I think the reason why I'm stepping more into film and television is because I'm ready to step into my spotlight, honey. Hello? <laughs> to say the least, girl. Okay, Matt, so you host uh, the iconic podcast, Las Culturistas. Yeah. Available on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell and us a little bit about that. <laughs> um, Las Cult is like truly the highlight of my week. Um, Bowen Yang and I from Saturday Night Live, we've had the podcast for over six years, which feels insane, but we've done over 300 episodes and we have uh, people come on and they say, what was the culture that made you say culture was for you? So, you know, that formative thing that made you step into being who you are that just so happened to be in a movie, a song, a television show. And then we also do a segment called I Don't Think So Honey, which is where we pop off on something we hate. Um, uh, you just drag it for a hot minute, um, 60 hard seconds of cultural takedown. Well, why don't you teach us how to do, how to do I don't think so, honey. Well, I thought you would never ask. No. No. So, basically, Wait, do, do one about, do one about <laughs> Drag Race. Do one about Drag Race? Do one about Drag Race. Okay, ready? I don't 
don't think so, honey, Drag Race. You're gonna tell me that Raja hasn't would have been in the top two of any of these All Stars winners things, and you know she's getting pissed off. And I don't think so, honey, that you are giving her enough credit. Okay, let me mm. tell you something. Madam in the Snatch Game, that was it. Then she went down there and she was fucking turning it out on the other character, which was. Um, Diana Breland. Diana, Diana Breland, Breland, yes. <laughs> the Come on, giving you iconography. Also, the transformations down. Every runway has been Raja, so what's it not going to be fucking top notch? And you know you're going to get into trouble with her very soon unless you give her some fucking credit because this is a fucking woman who is stomping up after years of doing good work for the franchise. And I don't think so, honey, that you are paying the respects. You need to give Raja a legendary legend star, which, by the way, kudos to naming it. That is so dumb, and I love it to hell. Um, and I would also say, you know, Team Trinity, Team Shay, Team Monet, Team Jinx, Team um, everyone that I didn't say. Sorry. <laughs> and that is Matt Rogers. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, so if we're going to play one more game today. Mm -hmm. You two got to be real good Judys on Fire Island. It is so. So we're gonna play a round of Psychic Link. All right. So basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna have to write down an answer the way you think the other would respond. Okay. See how see how much you know each other spiritually, <laughs> mentally, physically even. First question, Tomas, who is Matt's favorite housewife of any franchise? Who's my favorite oh. housewife? Hmm, who am I really? today? No. Oh. oh. Really? Okay, so three, yes. two, oh, no. Wait, no, 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 no. Write down, no, write down what you had. Three, two, one. I believe that Lisa Rinna is the mess and the chaos that we need. But who did, ah! <laughs> who did you originally write down, bitch? Girl, the TV man. Erica, 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 Erica. It's an Erica J. It's Erica J. No. Matt. Yes. If Tomas was a drag queen, what would their drag name be? Oh, she didn't waste a second. Not at all. Fashina Arnold. Oh! Fashina Arnold is basically, this is Fish. I love Fashina Arnold. Fashina Arnold, of course. I love Fashina Arnold. I love Fashina Arnold. Girl. But Joy personified is what we gave you yesterday. That's really good. Sorry. But it's actually Fashina Arnold. Fashina Arnold. I'm not dragging. Tomas. Huh? What is Matt's favorite Sexual position. <gasps> Doggy, I like to take it in the ass from behind. Okay, word. Or, wait, there is a thing. And then I, I also <laughs> like how girl, I like to ride dick very much. Like oh, that's cow girl. sort of what everyone, I'm, okay. everyone oh, like, wow. I have been called cowgirl many times myself. <laughs> Matt so, and Tomas, we have loved having you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with us. You at home, please watch I Love That For You, Fire Island, and listen to Lost Culturistas wherever you can find podcasts. You boys are so busy. Thank you for making some time for us. Yay! Yay. Yay. Oh, oh, best time. Tap me on grinds out. <laughs> tap, tap. Period! Tap in, honey. Tap in. Or the steam room. Tap in. Or the steam room. We got it in the steam room, girl. We got the big pass, girl. Got the big pass. And I'm looking for love. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everyone was like, mm. oh.